How many cars do you own? About nine. Eleven more on the way. Oh my goodness. Four Ferraris right now. We got five. The fifth one on the way. Wow. I think seven or eight. Jeez. I have an SP2 Monza. 488 Pista Piloti. I got a F12 TDF. Love Ferrari. Yo, what is going on you guys? So in today's video, we're gonna be interviewing some luxury car owners here in Virginia. We are at the Ferrari of Washington area. 10 feet in front of me, there's one Ford GT that's worth over $1.5 million and a ton of just successful business owners and maybe just some regular Joes here who scored big too. So let's interview them, see what they got going on. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like and subscribe down below. My name is Huck. I am 46 years old. How many cars do you own? Right now I have a nine and 11 more on the way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you a billionaire, sir? I, I need a job. Problem is they announce new cars every two, three months. And I've been saying yes, yes, yes. And then I counted all the cars is gonna come in next uh, year and a half. It, it ends up being 11 of them. So what do you do for a living? Are you a business owner? Yes, I own a construction company. Oh. I would do residential remodelings. Uh, I was working for my uncle in Korea, building a uh, plasma TVs. So I've been doing the marketings and sales in overseas. That's how I started, but I ended up building house with a builder for years. Builder bankrupt, I bankrupt, and then I start small again with the remodeling. So are you seeing a slowdown at all with the uh, economy and you know the recession? pre-stabilized, stabilized every year. So I don't have any up and down. Customer bases are all referral bases. We don't advertise. So I want to build my company a little bigger. So I'm trying different route right now, trying to build up a different system so it could grow more. Of course, so I can buy more cars. <laughs> what would you say is the best way to make a million dollars right now or have a successful business? That's hard. Um, I think you should not set the goal by making a million. You should just set a goal of what you wanna do that you love to do. So if you're happy with what you do, the money will come later. So I never chase money. I never chase for money and money is not everything for me. I want my family happy, everybody's healthy. That's, that's a, my first priority. Uh, but the fact is what I like to do, that I do every day, makes everyone happy. And then I guess in, at the end of the day, you'll be, you'll see some money in your bank. If you have a goal you want to achieve, but without failing, you have to fail every time to know how to get up and get better. Then you will become successful. So it's a multi, multi times that you're going to fail. However, at the end of all that hard battle will bring you the good result. I think that's, that's why I tell everyone, don't give up. Everybody can do it. You just have to think and uh, work hard. One day you'll get there. You, you won't know you're there, but obviously time, time will tell. And I think you will be there uh, when you work hard enough. Thank you. Yeah, Kamsamnida. I'm Lance Cauley. I'm 64 years old, and I'm basically just an investor today. Wow, you look fantastic for 64, by the way. What cars do you have in your collection now? I feel like you got something. You're wearing a lot of the best clothes. I brought a 488 Spider here. I have a Love Ferrari. I have an SP2 Monza. I have a piece of Spider. I have two Ferrari Challenge, 488 Evo race cars, a Portofino, and I have some other make cars that I won't mention. And I have a bunch on order, Ferraris on order. Wow, that is insane. First of all, how much money were you making for you to be able to do this? And are you retired now? I'm mostly retired. I still do investments. We still have another company, but I don't take a salary or anything. I, I don't want to talk about how I made enough money to be able to enjoy this. I'm very fortunate. I've been an entrepreneur for many, many years. And, and a little less than two years ago, we sold our last company. I, I would recommend that if children get the most education they can in, in, a, in a field that's the most potential of fulfilling their dreams. And if their dreams is to race their own Ferraris, it, it should be something that they can make money. But it's not necessarily that making money is the most important thing. Do you have any investment advice for anyone? You know, we're going through a recession right now. Things are changing up. A lot of people's portfolios are down. Should they hold? Should they buy? Should they sell? What are you seeing from the investment? I think at this juncture, you're pr probably in a hold position and wait till this Fed thing plays out. Frankly, I've been buying treasury uh, bond bill bills for the last six months. Just be, be patient. This will turn around eventually. So is that like a viable investing strategy for someone younger? Should they, you know, get into that now? Or do you think it's... Number one, number one thing on my background is finance, diversify, mm -hmm. understand risk return. 
high returns often mean more risk and and also conserve i don't recommend young people buy exotic cars they'd be better off investing in in the market perhaps and being extremely patient. What is one tip that, you know, you live by some rule that you've had that has allowed you to get to this level here? Mo the most thing it allowed me to get to this way is I sacrificed a great deal when I was younger to go to get an education. And also ma try to marry somebody good because if you end up divorced, uh, you, you lose half of everything. I've been married 34 years, so I have a great partner there as well. Become a functional expert in your profession. And you can do that by joining groups, studying you know, online, doing whatever you can. So try to become a functional expert, specialize in a growth area. In my case, it was telecommunications. I've had some big failures. Luckily, I've had more successes than failures, but well, you gotta take risk. And uh, I borrowed a lot of money and my wife and I had sleepless nights and it, it worked out. When you have a big loss like that, how do you pick yourself up? There's a lot of people that just accept it and, and don't pursue their dreams after that. You take a time out, take a deep breath, reassess, try to connect with another opportunity that works well for you, yeah. That is fantastic. It's really inspirational to hear all that. So thank you so much for sharing. Hello, what is your name? Uh, how old are you and what do you do? Uh, I'm Rick Greer. Uh, I'm 54 and I own a commercial mill workshop. Wow. How did you get started in that? Work waiver in school. I started doing cabinets for a living. I'm a business owner now, but uh, just a good old fashioned blue collar worker. Did you start as a worker and then, you know, decided you wanted to start your business or? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, I've been in business almost 30 years now. I knew from the get go, I would not be working for somebody for, you know, a long time. So when I learned the trade, that's when I took over. Do you have any cars out here or do you, are you a collector? Yeah, I collect. I got a bunch of old muscle cars, plus, plus I got a few Ferraris. I've got a 458 Speciale uh, Aperta. I got a F12 TDF, and we've got a, uh, a Lusso, and we've got a competition on the way, and I also have the SF90. Wow, so I, I lost track of count, what, like six? Well, we have four Ferraris right now. We got five, the fifth one on the way, uh, and I've worked hard for those. It wasn't, they weren't given to me, that's for sure. And, uh, and I've got a bunch of old muscle cars that I've kind of bought and sold over the years, and. That's kind of been a little sideline for me. I've always enjoyed those cars. Did you go to high school and then go to trade school after that? Uh, no, I went to college and finished a degree in uh, computer information management, computer science. I've done okay, but I've been a, just a good old fashioned hard worker. Do you have any like life advice or something you would recommend to anyone who, you know, maybe they're working right now that job, maybe they're in more of like a physical blue collar job right now too. Any tips, anything for them? Yep, work hard. Do all the overtime you can and bust your ass. That's what I've done since I've been a teenager. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Greer. I really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Apparently they're unveiling like a brand new Ferrari right now. So it's nice to meet you. My name is Brian. What is your name? How old are you and what do you do? I'm Frank, I'm uh, 43, and uh, I own an engineering services company. So uh, how many cars do you own right now? Total, I think seven or eight. Jeez, and what are they? Uh, well, we have this 488 Pista Piloti. Oh wow, that's yours? We have this uh, 812 GTS, which is my wife's new car. Oh wow. Um, we also have a race car, a 599XX, which is in the Corsa Clancy program with Ferrari. Wow, And a uh, few other cars. You're a business owner, did you uh, go to school? Yeah, yeah, I got an engineering degree, undergrad in computer engineering, and then a master's degree in systems engineering. How did you get into the business side of the world? Did you know you wanted to do that since the beginning? Um, I always knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur. Uh, my family is a family of entrepreneurs. My parents were both business owners. My grandparents were business owners. We did restaurants as a kid and construction, and I went into engineering, so I kind of had to build a network and start from the ground up. I started at a large defense contractor, Boeing, and kind of had to first build a network, then understand how to do that kind of business, right? It's not making sandwiches and pizzas. Spent about 10 years of my career learning and growing and building. And then uh, my wife and I went out on our own 12 years ago. How much money was, was a business like that making? Did you make it all from that company? Did you invest at all? Uh, it's a combination. Yeah, I mean, investments uh, financially, then went to real estate, then started the business. And now I look at the cars as an investment too. Um, they, they appreciate 
uh, when you get the right ones and you do the right deals. And so um, it's really just another business we do. And it's the best kind of business because we get to enjoy the cars. I get to race all around the world and they go up in value. Do you have any like one tip for anyone who you know wants to be like you one day, have a good car collection? Looking very good for your age too. Looking very nice. Well, to look good, start the Botox early. That's my, hey, that's. Yeah, my girlfriend, uh, she's trying to open her med spa. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I'll be a customer. There's no, there's no big secret. It's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of, it's, you know, it was 10 years of just absolutely grinding 80 hours a week, you know, with, with a little bit to show and a little bit more to show and a little bit more to show. The harder you work, the luckier you get, right? And you have your moment. Everybody sees the moment and goes, wow, that was awesome. And they didn't see the previous 10 years. So there's like a, a, a big debate right now where I'm, I talk to some successful entrepreneurs and they say, you know, you got to enjoy your 20s by working a little bit too. And if it's successful, it'll happen. But then there's the other side of it where people like yourself say, grind, put in the time, and then maybe enjoy the fruits of that labor later on when they're older. But really, that's a personal decision. I, I I think if you're going to do the enjoy your 20s thing, um, you just have to be prepared to not be really, really successful until you're 50, right? And if you, because there's no substitute for the grind, in my opinion. Thank you so much for doing this. I know a lot of people are going to be really inspired by that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right, so if you guys did enjoy today's video, be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe, and let me know who your favorite person was today. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any other feedback, definitely put it down below. All right, peace.